Hello everyone. Today as a group we are ready to explain about Bank Street Preschool method. So I am Anne Rashni Fernando. First of all I would like to explain you about what is the Bank Street Preschool method. So let's see introduction of this approach. On my first slide I put a photo of the founder of the Bank Street Preschool method. Lucy Sprague is the founder of this approach. She was born in Chicago in 1878. She was an American educator. She was died in 1967, October 15, in New York. Now, I would like to explain you about the history of this approach. Bank Street School for Children was founded in 1916 in New York City by visionary educator Lucy Sprague as the Bureau of Educational Experiments, a laboratory, nursery school staffed by teachers, psychologists and researchers who worked collaboratively to discover the environments in which children grew and learned to their fullest potential and to educate teachers on how to create these environments in the classroom. Now, I will explain to you about the approach. The Bank Street method is known as the development interaction. The Bank Street preschool method means that all individuals learn best when they are actively engaged with materials, ideas and people. Students are offered active educational opportunities in the areas that develop cognitive, emotional, physical and social growth. At Bank Street Pre Approach, teachers and leaders as facilitators of learning. Teachers that use the Bank Street Approach are aware of the whole world, their engagement with the world that they are interest. Learning often includes more than one subject and in groups, allowing that children learn at various levels and using different methods. The main responsibility of the teachers who are used this method is to help children develop and realize their unique potential. Let's see about principles of this approach. There are five principles. First one, education is a vehicle for creating an social justice and encouraging participation in democratic process. Second one, the teacher has a deep knowledge of subject matter areas and is actively engaged in learning through formal study, direct observation and participation. Third one, understanding children's learning and development in the context of family, community and culture is needed for teaching. Fourth one, the teacher continues to grow as a person, as a professional. Fifth one, Teaching requires a philosophy of education, a view of learning, and the learner knowledge and knowing which informs all elements of teaching. Thank you for listening to my explanation. Now, I cordially invite Harshani Herath to explain her topic. Thank you. Thank you, Anne. I'm Harshani Herath, as I believe you've gotten some idea about the Bank Street Preschool method. Now, let me introduce my topic. I'm going to compare this approach with ACCD philosophical idea. John Dupree, the father of educational philosophy. Main concept of John Dupree, progressive education. Progressive education is essentially a view of education that emphasizes the need to learn by doing. Dupree believed that human beings mainly learn through a hands-on approach. Pragmatism, it explains that reality must be experienced. It means students must interact with their environment in order to adapt and learn. As well, this is the same idea was true for teachers. According to debate, teachers must learn together with students. Piaget was a great psychologist known for his work on child development. To Piaget, cognitive development was a progressive reorganization of mental processes as a result of biological maturization and environmental experience. Children construct an understanding of the world around them. Then, experience discrepancies between what they already know and what they discover in their environment. Piaget's concept about science holds. Jean Piaget's theory of cognitive development suggests that intelligence changes as children grow. The child's cognitive development is not just about acquiring knowledge. The child has to develop or construct a mental model of the world. There are four stages of cognitive development. Number one, sensory motor stage, birth to two years. 
concrete operational stage at 2 to 7, concrete operational stage at 7 to 11, 4, formal operational stage at 12 and up. Now, I'm going to compare advantages and disadvantages of this approach with other ECCD approaches. About the backstreet preschool method, backstreet is a curriculum model that is play based learning. Backstreet curriculum breaks up into groups to play at various stations throughout the day. When playing at each station, they work with children of all ages. I'll mention some benefits of this method, such as children interact with different age of kids. They also receive one-on-one -on -one time with the teacher, which can be valuable. They also learn to be more independent. Now you can see the disadvantages to this model is lack of structure. So sometimes it can be chaotic. Also, even though having different aids in a classroom can be a benefit, it can also be a disadvantage. The idea of having different aids in a classroom can only not all the child to start on the same playing field. Now, you have some knowledge about disadvantages and advantages of Sanskrit preschool method. Now, let's move on to another ECCD approach, high scope. High scope curriculum model is an active learning advantage. A high scope school classroom is divided into well-defined interest areas that typically include a house area, art area, block area, toy area, and other areas that reflect the children's interest. Children are able to access all facilities independently as well as take some responsibility for use of these areas. This curriculum model has advantages like having hands-on learning, having them be on a daily routine, and having them express their interest. The disadvantages to this model is some children may not be able to learn to hands-on. Another disadvantage is no direct institution by teacher. As I think, now you have some knowledge about disadvantages and advantages of high scope approach. Now I'm going to explain about advantages and disadvantages of team based learning. A team based curriculum means that each skill area of the curriculum is connected to a topic which is referred to as a team. This could be a week long team, a month long team, or a team for the semester or even for a year. This curriculum also allows kids to be thinking creatively to be making the connections. Another benefit is the children are with the same teachers all day. The disadvantages are some of the children may be bored of the team and want to change. Another disadvantage is there isn't much variety. Also, children may draw the concept and want to move on. Now, I'm going to explain about disadvantages and advantages of Montessori approach. The children are free to follow their own interests within the plant environment. Rather than being forced to learn something that is inappropriate to their development stage. Advantage having simple items to learn. Another one is being able to express their interest. Also, to have encouragement instead of failure and that word. Now, I'm going to explain about disadvantages and advantages of Ritio Amelia approach. Ritio Amelia is the natural development learning curriculum model. The advantages for this curriculum is the learning process is natural and not forced upon. Another thing is children in this curriculum develop strong communication and relationships. This curriculum also allows them to express themselves. These advantages are not having proof. The child is learning some may say, example, parents may say my child isn't learning because I never see work kids brought home. Another disadvantage is children may be behind because they are going at their speed. And I believe now you have some idea about advantages and disadvantages of some PCCD approaches. Finally, as a summary, I will mention some advantages of the preschool method. Through this approach, they learn to understand themselves more deeply and to make meaning of the world around them. They build the courage and confidence to think independently and creatively. They develop the skills to work respectfully and collaboratively with others being a socially responsible member of the community. Also, as a summary, I will mention some of the advantages of backstreet preschool method. Multi-age, which depending on the child can be difficult, also expensive, limited extracurriculars, like structure, so sometimes it can be chaotic. Now I'm going to complete my session, and I cordially invite to Nuha Mahidin to continue her topic.
Hi everyone, uh, thank you for my colleagues who explained very well about the Bank Street education. Uh, from here onwards, I will present uh, how the Bank Street method using in other countries. And I'm Fatima Nuha Mohidin. This is the head start of the Bank Street and it is located at New York. So currently director is the Sarah Willis and they are recognized as an outstanding early childhood education program in New York City that offers free breakfast, lunch and snacks as well as education, nutritional, mental health and social services to 68 families each year at no cost. And their program is meaningful to the child, provides a balance between child and adult initiated activities requires ongoing staff training and parent involvement, requires staff to engage in regular reflections. Mostly the Bank Street method is very famous in New York, nursery level to graduate level. So uh, additionally, they prepare adults for work in uh, education and a Head Start program based on family income and residence. And this is Bank Street Preschool in New York. And this is Bank Street uh, College of Education in New York. And this is a uh, Bank Street Bookstore in New York. And this is Bank Street Musical School in New York. Um, also in certain places in USA, Australia, and uh, England, also uh, using the Bank Street method of education. So also the Bank Street offers family center services and child care. Liberty Leads, After School and Summer Camp programs. Teachers, Beliefs and Practices. So facilitator of learning and uh, ask questions that help students focus on the subjects at hand. Opportunity to learn at their own level. Uh, teacher of this curriculum believe there must be a balance between direct and student-led instruction. Parents always welcome in the classroom and share things about their family. Then integrated curriculum, creativity, artistic uh, expression, song, story writing, students can express themselves this way instead of uh, through discussions. So the teacher don't believe that students should be quiet all the time. Now we are going to see how the Bank Street method facing experiences in preschool day to day. Cleaning the materials. Teacher do not say don't do that or that's not the way to use. Remember always teacher should try to avoid negative language. It is about to understand respecting the materials. Uh, also teacher really need to explain why the cleaning is important. She can say like remember we have to be gentle with toys. There are some animals lost their legs. So even teacher has to be bent down to the child's level and speak. Also she says that she is not blaming him and it just reminding so that everyone able to play with the toys again and again. Now we'll talk about the story time. All the children can settle down their self wherever they want. And if kids aren't failing to study, they still have opportunity to get and move without disrupting the story. Teacher should read the story before presenting to the kids. Don't worry if the kids were not paying attention. Sometimes they might hear into teacher. So teacher cannot judge the children with her own knowledge. Next, show and tell. This is very rich activity where the kids can improve lack of language and social skill. Here one child get opportunity to show and share their object and other kids will listen to him quietly. After sharing about the object, children get chances to ask questions about that object from the child. In this activity, children able to put their own thoughts into words, interacting each other, questions and answering, and following rules and respecting that listen to someone speaking. Leaving the classroom, each child calling for number or calling to line up according to the color, 
self regulation first number have to wait until everyone to be called being patient aware of routines what is next and next play alone bank street method encourage independent play can boost confidence creativity and so much more doll play or dramatic play bank street method also encourage dramatic play it helps to develop the child creativity and imagination and to deal with the reality children learning experience in bank street education method the program emphasizes the use of blocks construction movements and trips to give children concrete experience open ended play materials allow children to make choices express their creativity and support their independence the end I got all this information from Bank Street Head Start social media's Facebook, uh, YouTube and Twitter and from their web page. Thank you for listening.